Hello, my sweetie. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, you guys. Today, I'm going to be going over how I did these super awesome Tales from the Crypt nails. First things first, I wanted to really recreate this portrait of whatever the guy's name is from Tales from the Crypt. If you guys grew up in the 90s, then you understand that this show was absolutely terrifying. I'm using my favorite brush for 2D portrait style art from my brand. It's the 5mm Dream Liner brush. I find, and also the Slim Shady Blender, I find that when I'm using a shorter brush, it's so much easier to add like texture, do little tiny details, blend small areas. And then this is the Slim Shady brush. It is amazing for blending small areas as well. I have a bunch of new unreleased brown and nude liner gels coming soon. So I used various shades from that collection and some of the complexion collection. Up at the top, I decided for the background, I was gonna go in with recently deceased purple. And then I just painted the hair over top of that color. I love doing hair. Something about doing hair is just so satisfying, but it's also so time consuming. I believe this nail alone took me about three, three and a half hours to paint, especially because it was on an extendo. Um, this is our full cover XXL extendo square tips, by the way. Down here, I wanted to make his murky looking book and this was a challenge. Just try to get the right colors for it, but I really like how it ended up coming. You can see here I'm blending down onto the pages and really just trying to give it some dimension. This was so much fun to paint. But if I had to tell you, because I didn't even record it, you could tell I was probably stressed. <laughs> I mean, you could probably tell I was stressed. I didn't even record it, but my worst part of doing this nail was doing the hands. I hate doing hands. I'm sure you guys understand but I wanted him to look as real as possible. And portrait art definitely takes a lot of time. That's why you don't see me doing it much. I really do not have the patience for this style of art. But when I try, I think I'm pretty good. Look at this. I am obsessed with how he came out, you guys. And ugh, I just can't even. Like, look how scary this looks. <laughs> We're gonna finish him off with some of my favorite top coat also from my brand is our No Wipe Shiny Top. And top coating is also one of my favorite parts of doing the nails. It's so satisfying to just add that gloss finish over top of your art, just kind of like doing a regular canvas painting. Now for the other nails, when you think Tales of the Crypt, I mean, I really just think of that guy. So I wanted the rest of the nails to be something that went with it, but like really spooky. So I went in with my products called Trippy Gel. It's a 3D sculpting gel. And I was like, let me just, Mix these two colors. I used light beige and brown and mix it together to get close to my skin tone. And this stuff is literally like Play-Doh for your nails. I just laid it on my nail bed. And as you can see here, I'm gonna take my, actually this was my Slim Shady brush. I'm taking my Slim Shady brush and you just use alcohol and look at how flawless this product just straight up blends into your nail. And the great thing about this product is you can take your time sculpting and creating your 3D designs and you don't have to rush because nothing will harden as opposed to using acrylic, you have to work fast. With this, you can just take your sweet old time and then once you have it how you like, see I'm like flushing it into my nail bed because I really want it to make it. I'm trying to go for like my nail bed is like cut open kind of look. You'll see in a minute. But you can take your time with this product and then once you have it how you like it, you just cure it in the light. Now here you see me going in with my 3D carving tool, which is just a silicone tool. It's also from my website or you can get them on Amazon or wherever. We're just gonna make an open hole here and I'm gonna be sticking a bone in here in a second. So definitely stick around because it's about to get creepy. If you're just getting into doing 3D nail art, this is such a beginner friendly product. I have seen people purchase this product and never do any 3D art before and whip up some crazy stuff. It's crazy because I, if you were good with Play-Doh as a kid, you're going to be good with this. Let me just tell you. So I scooped out a little piece here um, of the white and I'm just going to take off a little piece and roll it into a little ball. I want to make like a stump of bone that's coming out of the nail bed, but as I started this, I was like, uh, no, I actually need to add the blood effect first. So I took my favorite red jelly, which is literally a bottle. It's like bottled blood. <laughs> it's our best selling gel right now. It's called Bloodbath from my brand. And you guys, if you're looking for a color that looks just like blood, 
This is just fake SFX, by the way, YouTube. Don't ban me. <laughs> we're gonna just add it all right here. Look how creepy. And then I cured that. And then we're gonna add our little stump piece. Now for this, I didn't really record. I forgot to, but I sculpted out this bone. By the way, this is cured. So you see me holding it while, I'm, while it's cured. You don't ever wanna touch this product when it's not cured, but I sculpted out this creepy bone nail, you guys. Watch, I'm gonna do another one right here. So we're just going in flushing it to the nail bed. We're doing our little hole right here. And then I'm gonna go in with that red gel polish and make it look all gushy and creepy. You guys, look at how disgusting this looks. I'm obsessed. Now I just sculpted out the bone on the palette or a form and then cured it in the lamp. And then what I did was I added bling gel to kind of adhere them together. As you can see me doing here, I cured it, and now I'm adding pieces on, blending it onto the bone, and then I cure a little bit more. You can also use like a flash cure lamp, but this is the bone part I sculpted out. After I sculpted that out, you can see that I just kept sculpting onto it, and I cure as I go. So if you have a piece that you like, cure it, and then you can just build out from that. I like to use a little blender brush to kind of sculpt out. Now this is where I wanted to see where it lined up the best. So I went with this right here, this one. And I took my bling gel and I added it to the back of these two bones in the top. And then I just flash cured it. And then I cured it fully in the light. And look, look at how cool this is already looking. This is my favorite part right here was making the pointy part. I started with a little piece down here. And then I got like this long piece and I forgot to record it of course, but I pulled it and then I flash cured it. So it would be pointy. And it worked so good. And look at how cool this is looking for the, uh, and look at the side profile. Like, look how creepy this is. Are you kidding? I would just like a full set of just the bones for Halloween. Can you imagine going somewhere with these on and someone seeing you with these? I did take my brown shading gel. And as you can see, I added some color to the bones just to make them a little bit more realistic and in the cracks. This is the shading gel that I used also from my brand. I love this product. It's a must have. Now I'm gonna take my rubber base coat and this is how I adhere my tips. I did the pop off method. So I have cuticle oil and then a shiny top coat on my base layer. And then on top of that, I'm just adhering as normal with my rubber base coat and my extendo tips. I keep a flash cure lamp nearby, just hit it with the flash cure and then fully cure it in your regular lamp. I do this method just so I can like pop them off right after, but if you used this product as like the Gel X method, it will last you forever. The rubber base coat is an amazing product. Now for over top, I just decided that we needed to pull in that recently deceased somewhere else. This color is so beautiful. It's a glittery purple with some bright blue undertones. If you look closely, it is so beautiful and it is one coat coverage, you guys. Come on, look at this. I really did not know what to do on this nail. Cause like I said, when you think of Tales of the Crypt, you think of like the creepy guy and like bones. But then there's that iconic like logo from the show. So I decided to just paint that out. I went in with white liner gel first and it kind of sucked because these nails have so much curve to them that you couldn't really see the full writing from the front, but I did end up fitting it on there. It's just very curved. After that, I cured it and I went in with the color Trollin which kind of like glows in black like, and I really, really love this color. I feel like it fit the vibe of like Tales from the Crypt. So good. <laughs> Green and purple is always a win for me. I love that combo so much. And when we were all done, I thought I was gonna take this Groovy Glob Glow Gel. This is a collab product between me and my sister Groovy Nails, and I wanted to add some drips just because this nail was kind of plain and the other ones are serving so hard and this one's kind of just like <sniffs> So I took it, I squeezed it out. It's kind of like, this product is kind of like decorating cookies. If you decorate cookies for Christmas or Halloween or whatever, playing with icing, it's literally like squeezing out the tube of icing or henna. And I've definitely worked with both of them. So this product will take a little bit of getting used to, but once you're used to how to manipulate and work this product, it is so much fun to play with. And it's so easy to use. And this one actually glows in the dark. Now I'm an idiot. I didn't get a picture. I mean, a video of it glowing in the dark, but it does. And it's just a really cool little touch to add to your spooky sets. 
After I added my groovy globs up here, I was just obsessed with how this set came together. All together, I think it took me about six hours to do this hand. And look at how amazing these turned out, you guys. How creepy and cool is this? I am never getting over how this bone nail looks, especially with that shading in between the bones. Tell me that did not just set it off. So scary, but so cool. It literally looks like it's coming out of my finger. And of course, we have to get an up close on this guy. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Look at him. <laughs> I did that, you guys. And let me just tell you, he was intense. He was probably one of the hardest things I've ever painted in my life. Ever. I don't know. Just creating that skin texture on him and his eyes and those hands. It was just rough. It was rough, let me tell you. But it was worth it. If you guys like this video format and you want me to do more long kind of videos like this, definitely subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments, you guys, what kind of videos you want to see me make next. The worst part of this whole set was ripping them off. I ripped it off and then I realized that this part like stuck on there. It was a pain in the butt, but it popped right off. All I had to do was just buff that nail off. The pop off method I do is literally so easy and it won't damage your nails and you can take your nails off and save them for later reuse them whatever you want to do it's really mainly just for creating content you know i also have a video on my channel of how i do my pop-off method so definitely go check that out and until next time i will see you guys in another video soon bye guys